Screen Team Media. Uh, so far in the show, I've really kind of stayed very much in the pop reggae um, vibe, and it, they were both really poppy, really happy songs, you know, made everybody dance, and that was, I loved doing that. That's definitely a huge part of who I am. This time I get to be a little bit more emotional, emotional a little bit more vulnerable, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be hopefully a little bit more heart-wrenching if I, if I do my job right. <laughs> As far as feeling pressure this time around, I'm definitely still feeling the nerves like I have in the past. Um, it's such a, it's a bigger opportunity, a bigger stage than anything that I've ever done before. So it's definitely a huge step forward. Uh, the battle rounds were a huge, huge lesson for me to learn for myself as far as dealing with nerves dealing with putting pressure in myself, getting too much in my head. And uh, because I realized that when I did that, when I got too much in my head and let my nerves get to me, it totally affected my performance in for the battles and I hated it. I was devastated afterwards. As much I was, as I was psyched to be able to keep going in the competition, I hated that feeling of just, gosh, I didn't do what I know I can do. Um, so that was a huge learning experience for me and this time I've been a lot more uh, grounded, a lot more introverted, you know, um, taking as much time to myself in my hotel room whenever I get the chance and just making sure that I can just be as calm and centered as possible in the days leading up to the competition. Yeah, um, to, to all of my fans in Massachusetts, my hometown, and in LA, now that I'm here too, I'm just, gosh, this is so for you guys. You, if, if it wasn't for you, I would not be here right now. I literally would not be on The Voice without your support and love and energy. And uh, I love you all so much and I miss you all so much. And uh, just know that I'm thinking about you guys and dedicating all my performances to you.